As a center of excellence for learning, GTUC is committed to the fight against global warming. In view of this, the university has instituted five green projects. My name is Kofi Bobi Berima and I am the Director of Research and Consultancy at the Ghana Technology University College. On behalf of my president, Dr. Oset Akon, I take this opportunity to thank the organizers for inviting us to be part of Ghana Green Awards and Expo. Currently, we have been ranked fourth among the universities in Ghana and the first among the private universities. At GTUC, we have continued to be ambassadors of the Green Revolution aimed at addressing climate change that threatens the sustainability of the Earth. We have a student population of close to 8,000, including slightly under 1,000 international students from over 20 countries, coupled with a workforce of nearly 500 spread across five campuses at Tesano, Abeka, Lungwa, O, Kufurudia, and Kumasi. GTUC is committed to giving true meaning to the tree of life and takes pride in the fact that our concept of sustainability is disseminated across various countries and individual households where our students and staff come from. For the purpose of this expo and award, we are presenting only five out of many projects in the following categories. One, water conservation. Two, energy efficiency and reduce energy consumption. Three, renewable energy use. Four, waste recycling, reduction, recovery and reuse. Five, new construction using less GHG intensive practices and methodologies. The first project is the Rainfall Harvester Project. This project helps to conserve water and cut down dependence on the national water supply. The water reservoir measuring 137,120 square meter is capable of storing approximately 37,120 liters. When it rains continuously, the project significantly reduces the cost of buying water from Ghana Water Company Limited and also reduces the effect of erosion on the environment. The second project, which is solar panels built on the school's car park, was constructed in 2010 and produces 50 kilowatts of electricity that is used to supply sections of the university. Unlike the traditional way of generating energy, which pollutes air and water, and also creates hazardous waste, which can affect our forests, solar energy helps to reduce the effects on the environment The third project, a paper recycling project, commenced in August 2014 and it is aimed at reducing waste, lowering our carbon trails and educating staff and students on best practices while supporting to grow local businesses who are into recycling by supplying them with the materials needed. The fourth is an energy conservation and awareness project. GTUC has instituted a comprehensive awareness program to educate staff and students on energy-saving habits and practices. This campaign seeks to encourage people to do simple things like turning off the lights, air conditioners, and other electrical appliances when not in use. Posters and handbills have been displayed at vantage points on all notice boards on campus with energy saving tapes to serve as a reminder of the need to save energy. The university has 50 students as energy ambassadors who serve as watchdogs by switching off lights left on during the day on corridors and turning off lights and air conditioners in lecture rooms after lectures. This energy efficiency practice helps GTUC to conserve energy and save money. This reduces water pollution, including thermal pollution and the emissions of greenhouse gases and other air pollutants, especially in the case of burning fuel for power. The fifth green project by GTUC is a modification of butamen with waste plastic materials for road construction. 
efficient management of waste plastic components is a growing challenge for Ghana. This project uses plastics mixed with conventional AC20 graded mutamin. This sustainable practice helps to reduce landfill size as well as reducing the amount of plastic waste spread across the country, which has the possibility of choking our gutters, causing floods, as well as endangering aquatic life. As the saying goes, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Our hope is that these small efforts of going green will help combat global warming and institute a green culture in our students and staff. When students imbibe these sustainability practices, they would live it wherever they go, which would also have a ripple effect on our environment and society at large. To save the world, we must all go green. At GTUC, we think, we learn and practice green based on the tree of life.